Politics is show business for ugly people, so the saying goes. But should their worlds ever meet? I think that celebrities trivialise politics and politicians should resist the temptation of courting them. His main interest was a champagne supernova in the sky, but Tony Blair thought it politically significant enough to court Oasis, amongst others. How we don't miss the vapid days of cool Britannia. Oh, it seems we do. Last week, a party was thrown to honour the entertainment industry. A gaggle of decrepit celebrities appeared to hear the Prime Minister tell them, you make your country so proud. Why the entertainment industry? Why not the fishing industry? Or cows? Have our leaders not learnt to hide from these terrible narcissists? Celebrity is trivial, and when it touches politics, that seems trivial too. Of course, the mix of celebrity and politics isn't new, but it is surprising that politicians haven't learnt their lesson. Another visitor to Mrs Thatcher was Jimmy Savile. He had many holidays at Chequers, during which he used to write, in case of national emergency, telephone Jimmy Savile on every notepad in the house. Sometimes the celebrity becomes genuinely politicised. Russell Brand believes that abolishing democracy will make Britain a fairer place. His narcissism isn't strange, but politicians should know better than to touch it. Or perhaps they recognise it. The national treasure brand is broken. But the death of naivety and fake TV niceness is not a terrible thing. Why should we exalt such creatures who speak only to children and in children's words? Clear them away from politics.